Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tabletop Robotics. I'm Justin. Now, today's video is a continuation on last week's video about mapping sketches to curved surfaces in FreeCAD. And in last episode, we made this. Uh, we just put text on a curved surface. And today's episode, I'm going to show you how to put a logo on a curved surface. And this logo is going to be an SVG file, so that's why it's a separate video. But here I got a new file open with a, uh, this is supposed to be a cup. See, a little cup, kind of cute. So first thing we're going to do is open up whatever software we made a logo. Here I got a flower I made in like super quick, it was like three minutes. And first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of everything that's not our logo. So any layers that we have, we're going to delete those. So, um, what was it? Delete current layer, then any other things we have that are not our logo. Any backgrounds, any like shadow effects you have. Um, we're, we're just going to get rid of everything. So we delete all that until we just have our logo. And then after that, we're going to go File, Save As. And then we can call it, um, I'm, going to, I'm just going to call it Flower Logo. Go. And we're going to save it as an SVG file. And we're going to press Save. And you can do this in Inkscape. That's what I'm using just because it's free. But um, um, Photoshop and Illustrator, I'm pretty sure it's called. Illustrator, yeah, that sounds right. Um, I'm pretty, you can definitely um, export it as an SVG file from there too. So uh, back into FreeCAD. We're going to go up here into File. We're going to Import. And then we're going to find our flower logo or whatever logo you're using. So I'm going to import that. And I'm going to import it as an SVG as geometry. So I'm going to select that, select. And there we go, our flower. And this imports as a bunch of paths. So the first thing we want to do is combine this all together and combine it into a sketch. Now, um, this is almost exact as my other video. I think it was Tips and Tricks 3 where we imported SVG files, or maybe it was 2. But same thing, so we want to select all of these. And then we're going to go into Draft Workbench. And then we're going to press this again to convert the draft object into a sketch. So we'll select that. And then we actually don't need any of these paths anymore because those are kind of useless for us. And then we have a sketch. And if we go into it, we can see all of our edges turned into the into lines, into uh, B spline lines, B spline lines. Okay, so after that we can close it, and then we can do the same thing as last video. So first thing we want to do is go into the curve workbench. We're going to select the face we want as the curve as the surface. We're going to select this map a sketch to a surface. Then we're going to open up that sketch, and then here we go. And you will notice it's not a complete square. And I'm pretty sure this is because, and this is because the actual sketch itself only actually has one line on the side. It doesn't have two like the other object we did. Uh, this object as we did because we saw the because it has two lines, but this one only has one. That's why you only see one line. But if we go back to top view. We can still do the same thing, so we delete all of these, and we delete this line, and then we essentially just make our own rectangle, so we want to connect these two, connect these two, make these horizontal constraints, and there we go. So then I'm just going to highlight our logo, or go over our logo, and then we're going to pull our logo into the sketch, so we're just going to copy this. There we go. It copies it as construction lines, so we're going to make those into the normal lines. That's just this uh, toggle, uh, toggle button. Press that, and there we go. Now, if we press close, you will see this logo is stretched out. And that's just because the actual plane we're putting it on gets stretched out horizontally. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pull this out to wrap around the cup and our logo can be on one side. It doesn't matter where our logo is. It just, we want this as a long rectangle. So we're gonna close that. We wanna see how we like our logo. 
I think that's pretty good. Now you can uh, keep playing with it till you find the perfect uh, position and the size you like. And then after that, we can do how we did the other sketch. So in this one, I'm going to extrude it a little bit. So I want to select this. I'm going to uh, fill faces. I want to set that to true until it fills. I want to add a thickness of, let's say, one millimeter. How's that look? Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then after, I can select the cup and our objects go in here, go into the park, uh, part into the part workbench, and we can do a union of several shapes. And that just combines everything into one big piece. Yeah, actually that was a quicker video than I thought it would be. But that's how you add a logo into a curved surface in FreeCAD. So that's the end of this video, guys. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up, that'd be really appreciated. Uh, consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, check out my second channel, links down below. I'll see you next time. Bye.